Welcome to this step-by-step -step guide on installing and using an inverter pool pump. This video will take you through the process. First, let's connect the inlet and outlet plumbing to the pump and make sure all the connections are tight without air leakage. Before the initial startup, we should fill the pump with water first to prevent it from running dry. Now we can turn the power on. Each time the inverter pool pump is switched on, it will start self-priming and counting down from 1,500 seconds. It will stop automatically and we check for 30 seconds when the pump detects the water is full. Then the pool pump will perform self-learning by detecting the pipeline pressure for 180 seconds. The flow range of the system will be redefined after that. Now let's talk about programming the pool pump. There are two operation modes for this inverter pool pump. Manual inverter mode and auto inverter mode. First is the manual inverter mode, where you can manually adjust its running capacity from 30% to 100%. The other mode is the auto inverter mode. In this mode, just preset the flow rates, and the pool pump will automatically adjust its running capacity to maintain the constant flow rates you require. Most of the time, it's better to run at a low speed as they minimize energy use while ensuring circulation efficiency. And the best part? This product is designed to be as quiet as possible, so you won't hear any loud noise, and it's perfect to enjoy the swimming without any distractions. Besides programming the pool pump on its control panel, you can also control the pool pump from anywhere and anytime with the phone. Hold the power button for 5 seconds, you will see the Wi-Fi icon start to flash on the control panel. Open the Inverflow app, sign up, add the device, and connect the pool pump to the app. And through this app, we can fully control the pool pump. Here we can adjust the flow rates in auto inverter mode or the running capacity in manual inverter mode. The timer function is also available in this app. You can set multiple timers. For each settings, Select your desired time period first, set the flow rate or running capacity, and then tap Confirm. Make sure the different time period does not overlap each other. Thanks for watching. Remember to follow us for more tips and tricks. See ya!